maybe opting now. If it's like an opting, will be played now here. Yeah, it's going up to this like blue. Uh, this I think is opting. This feels very much like enemy opting time, like, incredibly much so. <laughs> like it's zooming up into this blue tick. Like, come on, it's like time for the opening. Oh, look at that. Actually, maybe it had opened last week. Maybe I missed it. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I think about it. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Maybe, maybe I just missed opening last week. That's true. I haven't seen the opening at least. Okay, my me personally haven't seen the opening. But now, okay, wait, did the head opening? I didn't do an opening reaction because I didn't see the opening last week. Um, um, but here comes the opening, guys. I'm, not, I'm just gonna assume that it was the opening last week. <laughs> okay, here comes the opening. For me, it's the first time watching it at least. So I, I didn't wanna, I, I wanted to react to it, right? Yeah, so. yeah now it's like normal life, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and then I turned it into a dungeon. But I like how like, most people seem to just live a normal life, even this mad exist now. Yeah, most people except him is like kinda just chilling at the basket court or whatever. Yeah, this was the woman we saw. I thought he was fighting at Earth, though. Or, I mean, outside, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Yeah, he's fighting at... Hmm. This was more interesting that the monsters should actually kind of... Well, I mean, obviously, episode one has the monsters running on an island, but, like, you know, like this giant titan basically attacking um, uh, Seoul, I guess. This takes place in, but... Or Tokyo or that, but... I assume it's Seoul because it's South Korea, right? But, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. That's fascinating. This looks like a boss. Interesting. Now it's fun to kind of red. Yeah, this looks like an actual, maybe a high level boss of sort. The red thing there looks very specific. These guys now are just like random nobodies. Yeah, the blue guys here use like a bunch of goons, right? But that red guy looks like he might be like the actual, like, oh, I'm the leader of these bad guys. Um, and now it's like getting the power up. Yeah, like it's. You stay down to the blue flame is out, right? Yeah, like it's... And interesting, it's like some old... Like Silent Hill or something. It's like in a room looking at TV screens. <laughs> Silent Hill 4 is ending. <laughs> yeah, it's Silent Hill 4. It's like in a, in a like, tiny little room in some weird hotel. Abandoned in this room. And then you watch it in like an old TV or something. The horror video game. <laughs> it is a very much a horror video game ending. Yeah, like you watch the trees outside the window. But you can never leave. Exactly, it's like one door. You can never open this door. This is seriously Silent Hill 4, the ending. <laughs> yeah. You're like, ah, I can never leave this one apartment building, yeah. And you might be able to, like, go outside into the hallway, uh, perhaps, eventually. But then there are ghosts and demons hiding everywhere, and you're so afraid of leaving that room. It's seriously Silent Hill, the... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, he's stuck in this apartment building forever. Basically, basically, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it genuinely is like Mr. Beast challenge, um, with a with Attack on Titan, yeah. This is like if Mr. Beast could uh, build his own robots to fight you like Attack on Titan, right? But let's go into, so let's review the ending and the opening. And I will say I like the ending more than I like the opening, yeah. Like, uh, you know, I love opening and endings, anime stuff is alright, but I think that One Piece did the best one. <laughs> it's like this season. Uh, it's a pretty good as well. But yeah, the ending, like I said, right, it really reminded me of like Silent Hill. It really reminded me of like a horror uh, storyline, something like that, right? He's stuck in his apartment. And it's an interesting take on it, right? Because, of course, just having seen episode two, and it's very video game based, right? You have to stay in a circle, get the power up, and so on, right? Um, certainly, I feel that this author is inspired by a lot of video games and also other Mega Avengers, but especially video games. Um, this feels like a typical, you know, video game element. It also reminds me, also even maybe even more of Silent Hill PT, the game that was never made, right? Um, it's a huge, uh, yeah, it was a huge travesty, right? You know, those those PlayStation games with that uh, installed, this it worth like a lot of money now. But anyway, I digress, but yeah, it must be a horror video game, certainly. So the ending, I really liked. In fact, the, you know, the, the, the visualization of it, and kind of how it calls back into his uh, his personality, him being the weak guy, being scared, but also being a little more cautious, a little more intellectual, a little more strategic, right? That, of course, kind of helped him uh, to survive uh, the game, so to speak, of the episode one and two. Uh, the opening, I mean, the, the opening was fine. It wasn't like the best thing ever, uh, honestly. I feel that I don't want to generalize that much, 
But there's never been like a manhwa opening of an anime on a manhwa where I'm being like, oh yeah, this is amazing. And the reason why I feel, and I may be generalizing, but I'm just like, no, nah, i never seen that one. And I think that they don't have the best songs, honestly. Um, yeah, honestly. I, I feel like the manhwa openings, they never get like some amazing, like really fire opening music. Um, so they might, this anime has like good visualization. And this one was pretty good as well. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't think the song was like terrible. Okay, I don't think I don't think the music was like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. But that's my point. But I'm just saying that it wasn't like, for example, if you've seen not this One Piece opening, which I think is the best one by far this season, right? I mean, I'm probably saying that, uh, but that that is like, I, I think it's gonna be the best opening this year probably uh, already. Yeah, but that whole opening is just like 11 out of 10. Uh, but anyway, digress. Uh, but for example, um, um, Hokkaido Girls. That opening uh, is really good, like really, really good. The opening is fire. People say, "Oh, we got you know," but the opening is really fire. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a guy, guy opening, but like that song is super fire. Like that that song, I I see it at work. I listen to um, the singer, my uh, Masayoshi uh, OXT's uh, singer. I listen to that that song right? like the like the, the, without like the actual anime, just like the actual song. It's really, really fire. Like that to me is like ten out of ten, you know, musical opening, right? Uh, for that kind of genre at least, but um, here I was like, yeah, okay, but anyway, <laughs> song by no, but seriously, I don't want to be that guy, but I, I really like the the visualization of both the opening and the ending, right? Uh, absolutely, they were like really good, like nine out of ten visuals. But I, I, I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment below. I just felt that both of the songs were like okay, right? And just, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that they're bad. I don't think they're horrible. I'm just saying that they weren't on that level of a Hiroshi. Or Masayoshi, they weren't, they weren't the level of like, okay, this is like fire opening. Uh, I just want to be fair, right? Uh, otherwise, yeah, the red guy appearing in the opening, I'm guessing is like the real bad guy, or at least like a major boss later. So there was a very one particular scene here, right, with a, a red enemy that looked much different than everyone else, especially because everything else basically are blue in the opening. Like these like goons that appeared after the red enemy was all like blue and purple or kind of dark blue. And uh, of course, the Titan, whatever you call it, the statue in this statue episode, have been blue. So, and most most of the anime is very bluish in the two, right? So the red guy really stood out. So I guess that's like that's that guy in opening is probably the main antagonist, at least the antagonist of the first season, most likely, right? So that that to me seems very <laughs> interesting. Mm. Now that I'm gonna, gonna watch Blue Exorcist for that matter, which of course is uh, area student here now, and I'm I don't know honestly. Let me come below that. You want me to see the review? I want us a little bit like torn on that because I read the whole manga, right? So I'm a little bit blue I mentioned all the videos because well, yeah, I, I read the manga ten years ago. So I'm a little bit like, should I actually review that thing? Uh, it's to me it's less interesting to review animes. We I react, of course. We actually have read the whole manga, right? But like twice or whatever before. <laughs> it's a little bit like that. Uh, but anyways, like the video, subscribe, subscribe, and have a great day.